Hey y'all, welcome to this video. My name is Blake and today I have another clothing haul for y'all. I've been preparing to go on a trip this summer and so these are some of the things that I picked up for that that I'm gonna be showing y'all. I have a variety of pieces from different stores so let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay, so the first place I'm gonna start with is Urban Outfitters. Urban is sometimes hit or miss as far as sizing for me. Um, I'm tall and I'm not a size small so sometimes I go in there and like never find anything and then sometimes I find a lot and this time I was able to find a couple of things which I'm happy about which I'm happy about so the first thing is this dress and this is such a cute dress I actually wore it um, a couple of days ago and I loved it it's like a it's a baby doll short sleeve dress and this is like my favorite style of dress I've loved this style dress for such a long time it's got a v-neck in the front and the back with a tie and it's very flowy I got this in a size extra large and it is like a little bit big I could have probably gotten it in a large which I normally wear like large I like wear a large but I like all my clothes to fit oversized so I usually go like extra large or 2x if I want it like a big old t-shirt you know um so but that's normally my sizing and then I am 5'10 so I usually also size up for length it is kind of like an off white like cream yellowish color and it has pockets and it's a really good length not too short but it's not too long and I wish they had more colors because this is like my favorite style of dress and it's very weighted it's like a weighted dress and it's definitely going to be a summer staple for me um, I wore this to like Memorial Day type thing so we were by the pool and it kind of gave like beach cover up but then it could also be dressed up but it's definitely a great piece for the summertime all right so my next pieces are some graphic tees I my favorite thing probably from Urban Outfitters is graphic tees. Um, they're just like my favorite place to get them. I really love the material that they choose and the fit and the cut of the t-shirt. Haven't really been able to find that somewhere else. And it's it's like different from just getting a size up on a regular t-shirt. Like the cuts of their t-shirts are just a little bit different. And that's why I just keep going back. So the first one I have is just one of their um, like staple graphic tees. And this is an Outcast shirt. I'm trying to get more... I'm um, strict with the type of band tees or like um, music hip hop tees that I get like if I don't listen to them I'm not gonna buy the t-shirt because you like if you've never worn a band tee like y'all y'all don't know how many times someone will come up and like oh I like your shirt or oh you listen to whatever is on the t-shirt and um it's just like such like a letdown I feel like when you're like oh no like I just got a t-shirt you feel like such like so fake or like a poser or something like that so I, try, I now try to only get things that I uh, people that I wear I always try to but now like there's so many t-shirts that I would want but I'm like I can't because I don't listen to them and I never will <laughs> I love the color on the, on this the fit of this one isn't is like a little different from the kind that I usually like um, but it's oversized enough and this is in a size large extra large and the last two t-shirts I got are these cut off oversized like distressed t-shirts and this is from a newer brand um, at Urban Outfitters that Urban Outfitters is holding. I don't really know how to pronounce it. Kodo, maybe? I think it might be Kodo. And I got these in a size large and they fit really, really big. Um, I was iffy on these. Like when I got, I didn't try them on in store. But the material and the fit looks like something I would like. But they're cutoffs and I don't necessarily like a cutoff t-shirt like that so when I tried it on at home I was like mm, I wasn't immediately in love like I felt like it wasn't giving enough to like keep but I just showed my mom and I was like should I keep it like I don't hate it but I'm not like sure about it you know like I don't hate it but I'm just not sure but I think I want to like step outside of my comfort zone a little bit and so I'm gonna that's why I really wanted to buy them in the first place because I knew the arm cutoff was gonna get me because I'm not a super arm arms out girl um but I thought I'd like push my limits a little bit so it's still like a very oversized fit but I'm just like showing a little bit more arm <laughs> so I got it in the washed black color and white and they have that distressing like the holes and stuff in them and I just love these kind of t-shirts and for a little accessory piece I got this scarf from Urban Outfitters as well and I just really enjoyed the color combination on this I'm really in love with oranges right now and this has an orange and pinky red and I, 
I think that color combo and it has like a sun pattern on it so I thought this would be super versatile like I could tie it on my bag or I could tie it on my hair in some cute way not like that so yeah this is like a pretty versatile item and it's actually big enough to wear as a top as well and the last thing that I got from Urban Outfitters that actually just came in the mail it's not a clothing item but it's a camera and I just wanted to include it because I did have to buy it from Urban and this is the Instax the Fujifilm Instax wide 300 that I'm so excited about it's a wide film and I've heard a lot of good things about this I've only had a vintage Polaroid camera I have a vintage Polaroid camera that was my grandmother's and then I've had a um instax mini one and i've also had an instax mini one like this one and this is not the original one i i used to own i actually don't know where it went i think i accidentally threw it away in my move when i was like moving all my stuff to my studio so i think it got thrown away but um i heard or all the reviews that i watched and the tiktoks that i saw on it um said that the quality on this was like so much better compared to the instax mini and um I was I had already been looking for a new one and I was originally gonna get a different one so when I heard that I was like I'm just gonna get this one and I thought it would be so fun for my trip coming up I'm gonna bring this one my Polaroid and the Instax mini and just have fun with them so I'm so excited it takes a wide film here's a film for it I bought this film from Amazon but it takes wide film so I'm excited to use it I literally just got it in the mail it's two hours ago but this is what it looks like and it just turns on like that it's really big but it does come with a strap and you just kind of wear like an accessory like this is my camera that I'm wearing today and but it's very it's pretty light right now like it's not super heavy I only really saw it available on like websites that I didn't really know in Amazon and Urban Outfitters okay so I also picked up this trucker hat that doesn't fit me I and it's actually a weird thing where like Urban thought that it didn't get sent out and so I got a refund for it um so I can't return it either because it says that I already returned it or like it returned it because I said the package got lost so but it, the package came so I have it um so it doesn't fit but I just have it it doesn't really fit me that well but I wanted to try out this style of hat but I don't think it's gonna be my thing honestly even if I found one that did fit me next door is Zara I haven't been shopping in Zara a lot lately um, just because of the Zara at the mall and my mall that I like to go to it's always packed and the line is always super long and it's just like I'd rather not and I don't really like shopping online at Zara so but I stuck out the line this time okay and I just picked up a few matching sets my new favorite thing so I picked up this beautiful it's kind of like a Kelly green it's kind of got an oversized fit and I picked it up in the size 2XL because I do like my stuff not tight and usually Zara's clothing is tight on my arms so this is the top and then it has a matching bottom that is cropped on me and I think it's pretty cropped on the model and it has a drawstring tie pockets at the back and it's got like a loose casual fit so this is more like a casual set that i'm really excited to wear and i love button downs they're just like the easiest thing and then i could also wear them separately because you just wear the button down open um over you know anything bike tights jeans whatever so then the next set i got is this orange one. Oh my gosh it looks neon on camera it's pretty bright in real life but it's looking so bright on my viewfinder so this is also this is not a full button down it's a half button down long sleeve top I got this one in a size extra large and it has pants these are like full length pants and surprisingly they are long enough like they're the perfect length for me like I said I'm 5'10 so I was really skeptical um, I bought all of this stuff without trying it on because the lines were out of this out of the store basically they literally were out of the store um, and I also got the pants in an extra large so I'm really surprised that these actually are long enough and fit at the same time because usually if they're long enough they're too big yeah so these also have a drawstring pockets on the front and pockets on the back and like I said it's like a straight leg or a straight yeah pretty straight wide leg pant and the last thing that I got from Zara is another button down so this is a full button down and kind of a linen material 
Oh yeah, it's 100% lino. Lino linen? I've been hearing, seeing that. Linen. Okay, it's a linen shirt. This is an uh, orange color. Like I said, I really like orange and I think orange looks good on my skin tone also. And so I'm really excited. I got this in an extra, extra large double XL. So it's oversized and it comes down like pretty good. And this is like a casual thing I'll wear over everything. It's a good way to be like casual and comfortable, but super cute at the same time. So they have these in other colors too. And these are just like staples I love, button down shirts. I usually thrift a lot of them just like, you know, like men's dress shirts. So but I usually don't find colors like that. So that's why I got that one from Zara. All right, so the next thing I got are some dresses and these are from Naked Wardrobe, but I purchased them at Nordstrom.com. And um, I purchased them from Nordstrom because the shipping is a little bit better and I'd be able to return these way easier. I could just go to Nordstrom and return it. Whereas on Naked Wardrobe, I'd have to send it in. And then sometimes I think some things are final sale and stuff like that. So, I'd shop naked wardrobe at Nordstrom if, if you could. It's, it would be like a way easier return process and like shipping and stuff like that. So I just picked up two maxi dresses and they're so cute on. Um, this is in black and I got it in an extra large and I was between large and extra large but the review said that the, it's really tight on the legs so I went ahead and got an extra large but this material is very stretchy. And it's just like a plain maxi dress. Um, I have, I really wanted something that was like long and went past my knee and didn't ride up on my knee. So this hits me like in the middle of my calves. And I also got this white color and these are just like nice basics. And um, I would wear these with like a denim, you know, like a cropped denim jacket, or any kind of denim jacket or like a button down. Yeah, I'd either do something cropped or super, or something cropped or something long on top okay next up I have Target you know we all love Target and I got another set okay so when I have been shopping in Target for the last couple of months I was so surprised they didn't have any sets because if I remember correctly last year during like the summertime they had like lots of sets that I didn't take advantage of I was like mm, nah and so this time I went looking for them and that's what I get for not taking advantage of them because they didn't really have any. Um, but when I went this week, I think I must have just been a little bit too early because they finally had like some more um, in store. So this is Universal Thread, like a, a French Terry type short sleeve and short set. It's really comfy and, and cozy. You could wear this out. You could wear it out. It's also giving like the material is like that beach material so you could kind of wear it as like a swimsuit cover up like it, it, it feels like that towel material um so you can wear it out but it's also like cozy enough and you can wear it just like around the house like lounge clothes so i don't know exactly how which one i would like choose the first but it is some it's like really cute on though and it's like really cozy and comfortable and right up my alley of course so this is like a little bit cuter like a little bit different vibe of a set than like my sweat sets that I like so that's why I really wanted to pick this one up so the last thing from Target are a pair of shoes which I kind of thought were like a dupe for some shoes for some sandals that I saw on free people and they're this rope sandal I'll insert a picture of the ones from from free people I had wanted to buy a couple things from free people but right when I was going to I ended up finding some post saying that there was dupes elsewhere and so I just went and got the dupes because the three people once were expensive and I was willing to pay it but I was like if I don't have to I'm definitely not going to so these are just like a rope flat sandal and they're really comfortable and um your foot just goes in it like this the last thing I wanted to show you is another free people dupe that I was shopping for on free people online it was it was um dresses and I was just reading the view the reviews on free people's website making sure everything was good you know like they looked fine on the person the sizing like trying to gauge like what size to get and someone in the reviews had said that there was an exact dupe on Amazon so of course I went to go look and I was like okay yeah they were using the same picture so I was like mm. but I went through the reviews and all the reviews the, they looked it was the exact same dress and all the reviews like everyone raved about it so I went ahead and bought the version from Amazon and it was literally a third of the price maybe. I think the one on Free People was 
at least $80 I think and these were 25 so here's the dress it's a halter dress and I thought it just kind of had like an inch like a um, interesting look it ties around the neck and it has two ties around the back which is kind of hard to tell but the back is open and you tie it like around the back okay and it has like this tool at the bottom and it just looked really cute on everyone originally I just bought this one in green just to try it out and see if if it was what it was and it looks exactly like the one on freepeople.com and then I also picked up one in red because I just thought it was so pretty it's definitely on camera it's looking super orange and it is like a an orangey red I would obviously wear this like dress it up kind of like like a date dress but I thought I could also probably dress it down with like a cute pair of sneakers. You have to find the right kind of sneakers. <laughs> um, a cute pair of like tennis shoe, not even a sneaker, more like a tennis shoe. And um, maybe like a denim jacket, maybe not, maybe not anything else, but just like a tennis shoe and like some like cute jewelry um, and like a nice crossbody bag. And it can be like kind of casual. All right, so that is my haul for y'all. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.